Behind the Curtain is a fan-made podcast based within the lore and universe of Five Nights at Freddy's, a video game franchise by Scott Coffin. As such, we do not claim any ownership over the majority of concepts presented within the story. No profit is being made from the production of this podcast. Does this thing even work? Whatever. <sighs> Simon would not leave me alone about this, so here I am, recording my shift. Supposedly the animatronics are haunted, or something like that. Dude's just paranoid, I think. I've, I've worked with these guys for years now, and I know a thing or two about them. They're allowed to roam around at night, there's nothing new about that. Simon, if you ever listen to this, you're just imagining things, and I'll prove that to you with this stupid tape. Uh, 12.30 a.m. Nothing has happened. None of them have moved an inch, or done anything weird, for that matter. Everything is normal. This is a goddamn waste of time. I swear to God, I'll kick Simon's ass next time I see him. Twelve forty-five a.m. I'm getting bored. <sighs> There's like nothing to do in here. They should like leave us crossword puzzles or something. Uh, never mind. Those are just as boring, actually. I miss doing my day shift job full time. It's a lot less boring than this bullshit. That's for sure. Uh, Working with the animatronics is, like, my favorite thing to do. I care a lot about them, and I feel like they care about me too, you know? Even if they're just robots. I just have this weird connection with them. Simon implying there's something wrong with them just upsets me. Not that it's true, anyways. There's nothing wrong with them. The AI can be a little wonky sometimes, sure, but... There's never anything beyond that. If there was, me or Jewel would be the first people to know. I mean, our job is literally animatronic maintenance. If there was something seriously up, we would definitely have realized. I'm sure working these late hours is some hallucinating or something. Everything was fine before the last night guard. <sighs> I just want to go home and sleep already. Twenty-six a.m. Been less than an hour since my last update. Bonnie's off stage and is in the supply closet. Nothing weird there. Foxy's poked his head out from his curtain a few times, but again, there's nothing out of the ordinary going on. Bonnie's still there, in the supply closet. <laughs> He's looking at the camera. It's still not weird, just Coincidence, I'm sure. Uh, 3 a.m. Bonnie appeared at the left door, as he does. Uh, he's gone now. Chica's in the kitchen, I think. Can't tell since the camera's busted, but I can hear her. Uh, that's probably just a glitch with the voice box. I'll look into it during my next day shift. <clears throat> uh, yeah, still nothing inherently out of the ordinary. Now, what would be weird is if the animatronics kept moving after their stop time, 6am. If that were to happen, then maybe I'd believe a word of what Simon's saying. Guess we'll just have to see, huh? Nearly 5 a.m. Not much has happened since my last update. Chica popped by to say hello, and Bonnie has come by a few more times, and that's about it. I'm starting to get bored again, actually. 
at least when they're close by, I have to keep a close eye on them. But they're near the stage at the moment. The animatronic AI does seem to be acting a little bit differently, but not enough for it to be considered a problem. I can look into it when I go back to maintenance, but there's really not much more than that. They aren't haunted or whatever shit Simon's on about. Five thirty AM. Uh Bonnie's outside. Just staring. I mean, of course they stare, they're robots. Their eyes aren't real and don't hold any real emotion. Jeez, Simon's just putting things into my head at this point. Usually he'd leave by now. Guess he's just feeling clingy. Only thirty minutes to go, then I can sleep for a bit. And it's back to work at this stupid job until it's Simon's turn for the night shift. Then I get to actually do the thing I enjoy doing. Jill and I are pretty good at what we do. You know, fixing up the animatronics and making sure they're good to perform. It's better than any of the jobs the other losers have. <laughs> Max is one unlucky soul, being the janitor at a children's entertainment restaurant. This place is always a mess. I'm half convinced he never does his job. Then again, I don't think I'd blame him. I'd probably quit if I were him. I've worked here for four years, I think. I started when I was 18. I did some intern work for a while. Then I was moved up to animatronic maintenance about three years ago, maybe. Not sure why I'm rambling about this. Nobody's ever gonna listen anyway, but I guess I'm just trying to pass time. <sighs> I guess the one pro to doing this is I'm getting paid a little extra. I could always use the money, as I'm just barely paying rent. Sometimes I resort to stealing some pizza from the kitchen, <laughs> since it's hard to get food. <laughs> Hopefully the boss doesn't find this tape. Stealing pizza is probably a good reason to get fired. I actually love working here, contrary to the other employees. At least while not doing this bullshit. It always can be kind of annoying sometimes, especially Max. But I'm not here for them. I'm here for the animatronics, really. I consider them my best friends. I guess that's kind of weird, though. I just... Uh, hang on. 6 a.m. See, Simon? Nothing weird. I'm done with your little recordings. Oh! Hey, Ollie, how was your shift? Hey. Uh, it was fine. Uneventful, really. Yeah, figured. Night shift probably sucks, huh? Mm hmm. What are you doing here so early? Hmm? Oh, a uh, boss wanted me to get things ready for today. Ah. Well, I'm off. I need to get home and sleep. Tell everyone I said hi, yeah? Yeah, sure thing. See ya! Until next time.